Hello, my name is Simon Cornish. I'm a professor in the Quantum Light and Matter Group in the Department of Physics at Durham University. I'm also the principal investigator on an EPSRC funded research program investigating quantum science with ultra cold molecules. One of the projects within this program aims to develop a quantum gas microscope for ultra cold polar molecules. This device will enable us to image and manipulate individual molecules confined in a two-dimensional optical lattice. The microscope will be a powerful tool for probing many-body quantum physics and will allow us to perform quantum simulations of a range of models in quantum magnetism. I will shortly hand over to members of the microscope research team to tell you more about the project and to give you a brief tour of our laboratory. Should you require more information or want to discuss opportunities to join our team, please get in touch with me directly using the email address shown on this slide. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. In our lab, we aim to make a quantum gas microscope for molecules. Atomic quantum gas microscopes allow us to see and manipulate individual atoms that are trapped in an optical lattice that is formed by standing waves of light. Each of these points of light in these images are individual atoms. Atoms in optical lattices can be used to perform quantum simulations of condensed matter systems. The ion cores in real solids create a potential in which the electrons move. Similarly, the laser beams create standing wave potentials and the atoms take the role of electrons. In our lab, we aim to build an experiment that replaces the atoms by molecules. We will then image individual molecules using a high numerical aperture objective lens. These molecules have the advantage that they can experience long-range dipole-dipole interactions that can be induced by applying large electric fields using electrodes, as shown by the picture on the bottom left. Hi, I'm Jonathan, a second year PhD student. Welcome to our virtual lab tour. In our lab, we plan to make ultra-cold molecules by combining ultra-cold atoms. To cool our atoms, we use a system of lasers, shown here. If we shift a laser frequency slightly away from the atomic resonance, the Doppler effect will allow atoms moving towards this beam to see light at a resonance frequency again. Only atoms moving towards the laser will feel the recoil kicks from absorbing photons, and so, on average, the velocity towards this laser is reduced. If we add lasers in all six directions and a magnetic field, we can trap and cool our atoms. Here you see a cloud of a few billion atoms at microkelvin temperatures, ready for our further experiments. After loading atoms into the magneto-optical trap, we use sub-doppler cooling techniques to further cool them towards quantum degeneracy. We finally image the atoms before restarting the experimental cycle again. We run the experiment repeatedly, each time adjusting laser or magnetic field parameters. This allowed us to improve our cooling procedure to the point that we can now produce Bose-Einstein condensates of either cesium or rubidium atoms. Having cooled the atoms to Bose-Einstein condensation, we are now working towards several avenues. For the microscope, the next step is to move the atoms from the main chamber to the sign cell, which will be done using the optical transport. We are also setting up and characterising the main objective for high resolution imaging and incorporating potassium into the experiment so that we can make fermionic molecules as well. The pandemic has changed our routine considerably. There were a fair few of us in the lab, but now some of us work from home on analysis and planning and others are in the lab aligning lasers, optimising procedures and taking data. We still maintain teamwork by collaborating online. So, if you're interested in doing some really cool physics, come and join us.